it's Allie with Y'all Coffee Gear, and today we are talking about the Izzo VV and our limited edition black. So this is an exclusive to Seattle Coffee Gear, and it probably won't be around for very long. So we are excited to have it. Um, beautiful machine, this really nice inky black powder coating all around the stainless steel frame. Um, you also, I really love the detail they put into this. You can see here under the drip tray, tray even, all powder coated. And usually machines that are powder coated just do the outside. So I really love that they went all out and did all of the casing. Something that's really cool about this black powder coat too, you can't even see right now, but there's some water in the drip tray. And usually on stainless machines, you can kind of see the brown murky water after you're using it. So I really like that you can't tell that there's a lot of water in there and it still looks like clean and new. So that's just a small benefit, but just to show you, give you an idea, water in here. This is your grate, kind of sits inside. Perfect. Just scoot this back in. So yeah, as mentioned, this is a stainless steel casing, which is really nice. It's gonna be more resistant and hold up better for you. And then the stainless steel boilers as well. That's something that we offer that other companies do not. So our Izzo brand all has stainless steel boilers. It has a small boiler, this VV, it's only 1.8 liters, but it has a pretty strong heating element in it. So it heats really fast and can recover really fast as well after you use it. So we have the classic E61 brew group. So it's gonna keep your coffee temperature pretty stable by running hot water through there. Heat exchanger though, so you're gonna need to uh, purge it when you go to use it just to let off some of that extra hot water, especially if it's been sitting for a while. I'll show you whenever we go to make a drink for this one because it's been sitting for a good bit. On the front, you have the PID. One thing I really like about what they do with this PID is especially with this small boiler, you can really maintain your temperature and keep an eye on what's going on. So for example, if you steam your milk and you're using a lot of that steam, it'll tell you in real time what the boiler temperature is so you can wait before you pull your espresso or you can you know, drop that temperature down even lower before you pull it. We have the oak furniture here. So on the, the handle, sorry, the knobs here on the handle and the portafilter. And they even provide a single spouted portafilter with the same wooden handle and the tamper with the wooden handle. So that's really nice and not something that a lot of other companies will do. So I really like that they went all out with that. Great, what else can I tell you about this machine? Two pressure gauges here. So one to monitor what your pump is doing, the other to monitor you know, your pressure at the group. This is the drip tray up here, sorry, not the drip tray, the cup grate. So this comes off so you can just take your cups with you and you don't have to pull them off, say if you go to fill the boiler. So under here, we got a stainless steel heat, um, I forget what the name of it is actually, but it basically uh, lets that heat pass through so you can have an active cup warmer on top, keeping those mugs warm. Got our drip tray, sorry, I keep saying drip tray, the <laughs> water tank back here. This is something that is a little weird on these. They have the tubing here, one to draw into the boiler, the other to kind of release a little bit of excess or pressure. Sometimes it needs to release that, but you've got a pretty big water tank back here. It does come out and you see there's actually a little level sensor in here as well. This machine has the ability to alarm you when your water is low. Sorry, I'm getting water everywhere. So it'll actually play a little low volume alarm just to let you know it's time to refill the tank. Perfect, so let's put all of this back up. So the VV runs from vibratory pump, so it's only gonna be able to operate from tank. You won't be able to plumb it. But yeah, that's about everything. Why don't we go ahead and make a drink? I have the Note grinder here from Eureka. That's a really good pair. Let's see. Something else I wanted to mention is the baskets. This is something that Italian companies will do that is a little bit different from like the classic US standard. So the basket on the inside actually has a little bit of a level to it. It's hard to see without being really up close, 
but there's basically, um, it has less large of a surface area for the holes. So it's gonna be a little bit more pressurized inside the basket. Just a little bit less, um, you know, surface area to push through. Okay. The coffee I'm doing today is Costa Rica La 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 I'm sorry, I'm butchering that. But basically, basically it's a black honey processed coffee which means it is similar, similar to a natural process, but it has notes of apple, apple juice, pardon me, brown sugar, kiwi, and melon. So kind of a nice medium to light coffee. Um, I actually pulled a shot before this and it was delicious. So I'm really looking forward to see how it will come out in my latte that I'm gonna make. So anyway, um, my Kaya, this is actually a regular pearl, classic pearl. And then with the note grinder, it doesn't have a time dose. It's gonna be manual dose. So I'm just checking my weight here. Kind of leveling it out as I go. I'm gonna aim for 18 here. So it's 17.5. Actually, I think I did 19 before, so I will do that again. Perfect, 19.5, I'll take that. That's a fun leveling trick I've learned to kind of help with the dispersion is just two taps. It works pretty well, it's pretty effective. Perfect, just clean it off. Okay, so let's talk about what I was mentioning earlier about that um, flush you'll need to do. So I recommend whenever you're doing it, just go ahead and put your cup below if you're gonna warm it up or something like that. Otherwise, you can just put it straight into the drip tray. I actually do recommend steaming milk first on this machine too. And mostly that's because the spoiler is so small that it's really gonna do well with steam at first, but as you pull more water through, it'll run out relatively fast. So really this machine can't do massive drinks. So if you like really big lattes, you'll probably wanna look for something with a little bit bigger boiler, but for little small cappuccinos and stuff like that, you can make them back to back because it recovers quickly, but using big steam at once will be a little bit less successful, if you will. So go ahead and purge that out. This is an insulated steam arm, so milk won't burn onto it very easily. Um, I'm using almond milk today, so keep that in mind whenever I'm showing off the texture. So as you can see what I mentioned earlier, in real time, it's showing you the temperature loss as I heat this up. Perfect. Excellent. Heats pretty quickly. That was already starting to burn my hand. Okay, so we're gonna release some of the preheated water, that extra heated water into my cup. Perfect, just to the point where you don't hear it splattering as much or sputtering as much. Perfect, 247. And I'm actually gonna pull my shot into the shot glass because that's how I measured it, measured it first. So last time I got about an ounce and a half in 30 seconds. And then if you're trying to save your milk, basically you're gonna try to prevent it from separating. Just give it a little swirl while you wait. You're only waiting about 30 seconds, right? So it won't take too much time. Beautiful, that actually looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and stop it. 27 seconds, 28 seconds, not too far. Oh, that is, that's another thing. So it offers you the time here, so you can monitor how long it's taking for your shot to pull, which can be really useful when you're dialing in, or when you're like me and just don't feel like using a scale right now. It can help keep your weight pretty similar. It's not as exact as if you were using a scale, but pretty similar. Beautiful. Okay. 
Ooh, not my best, but hey, almond milk. Whoops. Perfect. So pretty good steam quality. I'm really happy with the uh, level of foam on this. Oh, that's really good. It's a really sweet shot, so it works really well in this almond milk. Because almond milk's not necessarily as sweet as like classic milk or whole milk. Mm. Yeah, that's really good. I really enjoyed having this in my house. I got to use it and loan it for a little bit to get familiar. And it was great. I mean, it takes a little bit of getting used to as far as the steam. That little small boiler just, you know, takes a little bit of finesse and getting used to. A good tip though that I have is that I have it set to 248. Right now it's at 247. 248 is a good temperature for me. At home, I was using a pretty dark coffee, whereas this is a light coffee. So if you're using darker coffee, you might wanna lower it, but keep in mind that if you lower the temperature, that will also reduce the steam that's available in the boiler. So that's one of the reasons why I recommend steaming first, doing your shot second. That way you have plenty of room to steam. So yeah, that's the Izzo VD in Black limited edition. Check it out on our page. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, YouTube channel, and we will see you next time.